Analytics by themselves have high value only if you can tie them to money and business opportunity. So we're really focusing on you know, how can we make it easier for facility operators, building owners, to get that information and, and take the right actions. Their budgets are going down, they're getting initiatives to spend less on energy, less on carbon. They need information so that they can actually do more with less and the data is informing them to do that. They're going to have more data and they're going to have more ways to make decisions around what they need to do to make the place comfortable or operate smoothly. Because if I have 120 things wrong in my building, well, I can't fix them all at the same time. So which one should I go after first? What kind of return should I expect? And more importantly, if I don't act on this now, how much more is it going to cost me? So we really have to help them prioritize. And instead of just having the math shown to the operators, Turn it into dollars. Dollars make sense to them. That's what we do. I really think they just don't have time in their daily kind of their daily operations to sit back and kind of experiment with data. A lot of it comes down to less staff to do the same or more of what they had to do before. And so walking into a budget meeting three years ago and saying, hey, I need to buy a new chiller. And if the answer and the question was why, and you said, well, I know I got to keep people cool and the old one's about to wear out, it was very anecdotal. Now these folks can walk into these conversations with, and here's the actual history of the last chiller I had, here's the history of other chillers in our geography, and here's other information we know about this type of equipment. If you let me invest in this now, I can show you why that costs less than it will to fix the old one later. If it's a bigger piece of equipment or if it consumes more electrical energy, we can prioritize that a little bit differently. So, hey, you know, all my high priority equipment, I really want to see what's going on with that and then start to look at different faults, look for performance issues. So now we begin to partner with you, the customer, to say, you know, here are the things we think you should do. Here's kind of the priority order in terms of the benefit you'll receive. And here's the rough percentage benefit that you can expect. So we do have good ways now with analytics to prioritize future projects if we can learn just a little bit about the equipment we're building.